Well, uh, welcome to our gallery. Good afternoon, my name is John with Pine Tree. I have the great pleasure of being here at Offman Metal Arts. This is a new business in Murphy's. Yes, it is. And with Alex Offman and Brad Stark. That's right. There we go. Uh, now, this is some really, they have some really impressive works in here. And I'm about as artistic as something laying on the ground, a rock. So I'll just let them tell you about what they're doing here. It's, I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks. So, yeah, how, tell us a little about it. Well, uh, art has been in my life since I was a young kid. Okay. I was making money at art before I graduated eighth grade. Okay, so, wow. All the San Andreas graduation publications that were made by me, and, uh, and I just kept doing art. I, my parents thought it was the highest form of being uh, involved in public. So. Very nice, very nice. And uh, if you don't show your art, you're not being an artist, so you can create beautiful things. If you don't share them, you're not doing your full step. So interesting. I guess kind of go. I know uh, computers aren't art, but I think the interesting thing is we always talk about Steve Jobs. Is he was a creative artist, but he shipped. They, you know, it wasn't just conceptual. They, I mean, they shipped a product. You right, know, right, right. It was intangible. I mean, it was it was they shipped, and that's what I think. You know, if if you know this is. You guys have produced. It's it is, yeah, you have to produce. Have to produce. And you yeah. need the fear, the fear of exposure to sometimes provoke you. For me, right. personally, I think once I show things, it does provoke me into doing more. <laughs> it does provoke me into doing more. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. And I've, also, I've been in this area also since high school. I've okay. been carving and graduated Cal First Line in uh, 1974. Very nice. And I, I started carving in 1971. Started carving soapstone, which we discovered as kids walking around right. canyons. Yeah, two right. things, yeah. And uh, started making little things. My first venture was to, uh, we made uh, soapstone and deer antler pipes with rabbit skin bags, and we took them down to the <laughs> Renaissance <laughs> Fair <laughs> and sold them at the yeah. Renaissance Fair. Oh, yeah. So that was our first venture, and then we started branching into animals. And uh, I grew up with Miles Metzger, who was also carved in the area. And that's why I learned to carve with Miles. And, and uh, Kent Justice, who was also my Kent Justice is great. Very and also, we're, uh, we're working to help support the a wildlife preserve in his honor that we're building in this area. Very neat. Yeah, we'll take some pictures of some of the pieces. But you're saying some of these things, some of these pieces, you actually have to start with like a 600 pound stone to root. Well, for the big ones, yeah, you need yeah. A, big, a big stone to end up with a 200 pound sculpture. <laughs> and then I, I, I traditionally have been doing stone sculpture and then uh, making a mold and casting them into bronze. Okay, all right. Yeah, you know, would you do um, custom pieces for people as well? Absolutely. Yeah. In okay. fact, okay. One, the, this piece called In Our Hands, yeah. um, where I have cast bronze earths, and I can cast people's hands. So you have so it's their hands, hands on it in the fear. Nice. So the interactive sculpture. Yeah. Very neat. Yeah. 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 Preserve, and that lasts forever in a bronze. Oh, yeah. That's the beauty yeah. of art. That outlasts <laughs> us all. <laughs> <laughs> Now your media, you do metals. I mean, is pretty right. impressive. Now you were saying a lot of this is done freehand, right? Is it, it is all freehand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's the one thing about working on metals. It, it's unforgiving. It's unforgiving. If you okay. make a mistake, it's not like you can just start over. Start out. Out. No. Yeah. So um, it is about being deliberate, trusting your your initial your initial sketch, mm -hmm. and then doing the pattern. If the pattern works, the art will probably work. So right. You've got to trust your process. And uh, be patient. Well, one of the things that won't come through on pictures at all is, is just the, the depth of these pieces. Right, it's right, amazing. Right. I mean, they, it's, it's, it's how to tool light on a metal surface to fool the logical eye. Got it. We're all very logical, and everything right. we look at, we right. think, oh, I understand that, I don't understand mm -hmm. that. That mm -hmm. works, that doesn't. Mm -hmm. We're all critics, even if we don't consciously agree with right. that. We are. Right. And yeah. so your pattern has to be solid, and uh, then tooling light in opposing directions. So as you move, light goes two dire directions, it sells the illusion. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. With Very cool. It's great on moving around here. So what are the so what are the plans for the for the gallery? I mean you've opened now, you've been open for what, a few weeks now or how many? Yeah, just a couple of weeks. We Very just cool. opened on Irish Day. Yeah. And, and well Brad Brad came to me with some great ideas re regarding using the space as a community a community gathering spot. Okay. For for environmental issues, for independent film for uh, basically social awareness. Got so it. it's a great location. Uh, Murphy's a very pedestrian. And uh, if we can help. It's a good building too. It's a great building. Yeah. yeah, it's got history and uh, we're just so happy to be part of the history. Yeah. Very cool. And thank you very much. Great luck, good, good luck with everything. Thanks, Wonderful, man. beautiful pieces.
you know, yeah. right and we'll do a few shots. They won't do them justice, so you need to come, come down here and see them. Thank you very much. <laughs>